flies. They spread diseases, infest our homes, and even find their way into our soup sometimes. So why are farmers across the world being encouraged to release them into the crops we eat? Tachinid flies, of the family Tachinidae, don't spend their larval stages surrounded by faeces or carcasses. They spend them inside other insects. Tachinid flies are reproductive parasites, meaning they lay their eggs on or inside a host. Some of their hosts include the Colorado potato beetle, the northern armyworm caterpillar, and the woolly apple aphid. All of these species are prolific crop pests that cost farmers millions in annual losses. But thanks to the weird but wonderful way that tachinid flies reproduce, farmers can cut down their numbers, as the parasitization is often fatal. What's more is that like most parasites, species of tachinid flies are specialised to seek out specific organisms. So farmers could release Myopharus dorifore to parasitise the Colorado potato beetle without impacting the ladybugs that keep the aphid populations in check. Unfortunately, not all tachinid flies turned out to be specialists. These biological control agents have been released to protect crops across the world many times and some have parasitised non-pest species. Not only did this cause local extinctions and damage to ecosystems, but where tachinid flies started parasitising pollinator species, such as butterflies and moths, farmers risked losing the services that these species provide to their crops. Despite this, using tachinid flies as a biological control agent for crop pests means farmers don't have to resort to using chemical pesticides that can get in our water systems and cause health problems for aquatic animals and the animals that eat them. Also, provided they aren't compatible hosts, pollinators are generally safer than tachinid flies than they are most insecticide sprays due to the aforementioned specialisation of most parasites. As you can see, there are benefits and drawbacks to using tachinid flies as biological control agents. Deciding on whether or not they would be the right choice for protecting our crops depends on many factors. That's why entomologists and farmers need to work together in order to ensure there's always going to be enough food on our plates. Soup anyone?